Hey, it's me. I just wanted to give a shout out to my cousin, Top Crumps, and his partner in crime, DJ Wet Dreams. So, hi. And speaking of DJs, I got these headphones just a minute ago. They're really good. They're called, oh, what is it? Goji. They're so, they look so good. And the sound quality is amazing on them. And they fold up like really uh, thin. I couldn't understand what it was when I did it. Right, let me do it again. Like, it's hard to do one-handed. Basically, yeah, they fold up to like that, so you can easily take them out, like wherever you want. I probably won't use them for my iPod. Pardon me. I'll use them for gaming, so that the input of the sound effects of the game come out on the recording but I have to record my vocals separately and so I don't want the sound from the TV or yeah I don't want the sound from the TV to get duplicated if it comes through on my vocals and so I'm going to wear the headphones and talk so that I can hear what's going on and then talk through the mic for the vocals and then the recording will have the sound effects of the actual game. It's very confusing, but they're just amazing. And if my iPod headphones break, because there's only one bud left on them, I broke off the other one because the um, the earpiece came off, so I couldn't wear it, and so I just snapped it off, as you can see there. And so it's just got the one bud on it now. So if, if that breaks, then I will start using these for my iPod. They're amazing though. The sound effect, is, the, the sound quality is brilliant. You can barely hear people outside and it's really loud in your ears but you can't hear it from the outside which I think is amazing. And so I will talk to you later. Hey, it's me. I've just seen an advert for a game that um, Cassandra uh, put on her Twitter and it's epic. It's got, the trailer for it is live action trailer. Um, and it stars Mike and Daryl and a lot of the other people from the Acro Gym. Um, I recognise a couple of them, although I don't, rec I don't know their names. Um, but it looked amazing, so I'll put the trailer down there. It's for a game. Um, I'm going to get it as soon as it comes out. It looks epic. I can't wait. And so I'll talk to you later. Hey, it's me, and I'm having my dinner now. I made a bit too many vegetables. Oh well. I've got half a plate of frozen vegetables, uh, two smiley faces. The vegetables make up for the lack of smiley faces. Some hoops and chicken Kiev. And I've also got some uh, energy drink. And I forgot I bought a Lucas Aid Sport last night. And I'm watching the beginning of Black Swan because I haven't seen it. And it's on my list of films to watch. So I'll talk to you later. I changed my mind. I can't sit through a film that is the majority is ballet. I just can't do it. I can't pay attention to it if I do that. So, what should I watch? Uh, Bridesmaids. I haven't seen that yet. Apparently it's like the um, female version of The Hangover. So, let's give it a go. Talk to you later. Hey, it's me. And I just watched Chronicle. It was amazing. I think I might have to get it on DVD. Do I want it on DVD? Yeah, I'm going to get it on DVD when it comes out. It's going to be good. Um, it's basically this boy films, it was a bit like me actually, and a lot of other people in the world. Um, it was about this person, he doesn't, blog, he doesn't vlog, but he records everything in his life. Um, starting from when he's, uh, I think he was 18 or something, um, or 17. And he films stuff and he's got an alcoholic father, his mother's ill, um, like seriously ill. And he's a bit of a loner. Well, he is a loner. And he, his cousin, who he like hangs around with, um, and his cousin's friend, find this hole in the ground at a party. And they go into it, and there's like these crystals or something, and then it like all blacks out. And the next time you see them, they have telekinesis, and they can move like all sorts of things. And they train their brains up. And then they have to start making rules about when to use them and how to use them and stuff. 
and the way that the film is uh, shot is as if it's all recorded by this guy, by this boy. And when he's not filming, it's filmed by different cameras. Like, there's a scene where they're in a hospital. It's, it's by the CCTV in the hospital. And there's a bit where you're looking at what his cousin's doing, and it's his cousin's girlfriend, or the girl he's trying to go out with, um, has a video blog, and so she's recording her life. And it's the way that it's shot is really creative. I really liked the way that it was shot. It was brilliant. Um, and it's just an amazing film. The storyline is amazing. Um, the ending was very dark, I think. Um, but I liked it. It was really good. And so if you were on the edge of going to see it or not, definitely go and see it. And even if you weren't thinking about going to see it, go and see it. It is amazing. If you watch my vlogs, then I think you'll like the the film. It is really good. And so I'll talk to you later. Hey, it's me. And I'm hungry, but I have no food to snack on. So I'm going to have the last pot of my Grey's box. It's black pepper pistachios. If I can get it open, that is. Let's give one of these a go. It's really small on the screen for some reason. Probably because the screen is a lot smaller. And so, I'll talk to you later. Hey, it's me, and I'm just about to go to bed. Awesome thing of the day is... Seeing films. I like seeing films. It's good. Although I'm going to get rid of my unlimited card. <laughs> yeah. It's because when I first got it, I used to go to the cinema. Like, in one day I'd see, like, five, four or five films. And that one day would mean that the cinema the unlimited card was worth it because I would have had to see four films to make it worth it anyway and I did that like twice a month maybe or I did that and then I saw other films like on Wednesdays with people and stuff um, and that was because at the cinema the Cineworld in Crawley there were lots of screens so they were showing lots of films throughout the day um, at lots of different times whereas the one here only has six screens and so they only show four films I think or sometimes they might show six I don't know if they've got 3D films then they'll show six because they'll show the 2D versions but otherwise they'll show four films you know in like a day um, and they have them at different times as well but they only have like two showings of each film a day which I think is quite odd um, and so I can't go for the day and I, th I don't have time to go there very much anyway. And so it's not really worth it. So I'm going to get rid of it. I've got the Orange Wednesdays. And so I'll talk to you later. You've just watched Jack Catford.